What's going on YouTube? This is Decrostevo and we have a battle to gay for the what's this week six of the Indigo League of Legends is us versus Mac. This is a nice little throwback match, but I'm just gonna go ahead and, and say this now. I lose this battle really horribly, but I think that it is important to review the match because I basically got destroyed by a Mega Mawile. Um, this match does illustrate why Mega Mawile is in Ubers. And at the same token, it demonstrates the importance of team composition because I really just underestimated Mega Mawile. Uh, Mega Mawile went to Uber so quickly, I didn't really have any experience battling it in singles. And when I have faced it in doubles situations, it hasn't been that hard to manage because it's doubles. I have two Pokemon that can handle Mawile. But for this, this matchup in particular, it was a, a, a rematch really for Mac and I. In the first season of the Indigo League of Legends, he made a trade right before our battle and got a black cure which completely destroyed my team right before we battled and it was completely within league rules and i really couldn't do much about it so i got destroyed there here we get destroyed because of my underestimating mega mawile and its ability to give a 50 50. now of course mega mawile usually carries sucker punch play rough iron head and then a filler move, sometimes it's uh, Fire Fang, sometimes it's or, uh, Substitute or Swords Dance. Uh, as you can see from my Pokemon, Drapion with, in with Investment can take a hit from Mawile, but it can't KO it back with anything. Uh, Caesar, of course, can take a hit from Mawile, but it has the it can't just switch in because it could take a Fire Fang. Uh, Sucker Punch, one hit KOs Heliolisk easily. Blaziken can take a Sucker Punch and, of course, cannot speed a hit it with a Fire Move but it doesn't want to take a play rough. Uh, and then Glalie can hit it with Earthquake. Whimsicott doesn't want to take any, any hits from Mawile. So I, I really just put myself in a situation with this team where I underrested Mawile. And then even when I was playing against Mawile, I wasn't really thinking straight. I, I just made poor decisions. I did start off with Drapion here. I wanted to taunt Rotom. I expected him to start with Rotom and I really didn't want to take a Will-O-Wisp. And that'll give me an opportunity to either knock an item off of something else We'll go for Toxic Spikes like I do here. Um, I didn't want to go straight for a knockoff because I did fear him switching directly into uh, his Mawile and of course knockoff wouldn't do very much. And he does go out into Hydreigon. I find out that Hydreigon actually is timid choice specs, uh, which is the only way that he's going to be able to knock out my Whimsicott. I thought the switch to Whimsicott was way too obvious, so I just stayed in because I knew if he went for Flash Cannon or Earth Power, um, they wouldn't... Uh, he has a 50-50 against Whimsicott, but he just went for Earth Power and Whimsicott would have eaten that up very easily because I brought a defensive one this week. Uh, he does get the switch into Mawile. I went for Moonblast thinking that it would do more damage. Mawile has really bad special defense and not very high HP, but it doesn't do that much damage at all. So I was curious if he invested. Granted, I did bring a defensive um, Whimsicott. I'm not expecting him to go for maybe uh, just go straight for Iron Head. I switch out into my Blaziken as he goes for play rough and Mac had a great reason for doing so. Everything on my team is nuked by play rough. He just had to make sure he connected the attack. Um, so here I'm in a situation where I was like, okay, he will probably switch out because he doesn't want to play this 50-50. I could have just KO'd him right there with a the Thunderbolt and that's what I should have done. Mawile is such a threat to my team, I had no reason to try to predict him switching out. I could have just gone for a Choice Specs Thunderbolt with Heliolisk and KO'd it. But since he stayed in, now we have to play this 50-50 game where it's like, okay, is he gonna go for a play rough? Is he gonna try to set up? And I decided to sacrifice Glalie because I, if he went for Fire Fang, I didn't wanna bring in Caesar on the switch out. Um, and then as I switch back into my Heliolus, he KOs it with a Sucker Punch. Uh, so of course, Caesar is banded this week, so it can't really do much. I was impressed with the damage that it did to his um, Kafagrigus. But of course, Caesar is completely walled by Rotom Wash, so as long as that's around, I need other teammates in order to really to really do anything here. Now I switch out here, expecting him to go for a fire type move. I go into Whimsicott knowing that I can take any one move because I didn't realize that he was choice specs. Um, and I actually did have the investment to take a regular flash cannon from say a mixed high dragon, but I definitely could not take a specs one, so the crit didn't actually end up mattering right there at all. Uh, I go out into Caesar here and just the bullet punch does not do enough damage and Caesar is my last Pokemon so this battle is basically over. Uh, but just like that, 
I barely I didn't even speed this battle up that much that was it was that fast of a match now I'm not sure if Mac was trying to give me like a mercy KO here he didn't really have any reason to go into Smeargle in my eyes he could have gone right into Rotom he never bullet punch and then burn me and all that good stuff from there but because he did go into Smeargle I am able to take it down to its sash it gets poisoned and gets KO'd so at least it's not a 6-0 uh, at least I can say that much. Um, I do end up forfeiting here at the end because he burns me. And even a burnt Caesar can still hit his team relatively hard with a choice ban. And I didn't want to just sit there and wait for him to hydro pump me down. So that's going to be a 0-5 loss to the Green Bay Pachirisu and Mac. But be sure to go check out his uh, channel in the description. I rather enjoy his content. Um, and I and and I really just wanted to upload this battle so that you guys could see my thought process during the battle and and that's and that's why Mega Mawile is in Ubers for more standard play under smart on rules or anything like that. It's a it just it literally has the highest attack stat in the game. And then on top of that, its ability to force 50/50s with Sucker Punch makes it incredibly hard to play around when you are playing as derpy as I was just playing. The appropriate thing to do would have just been to number one bring more checks and counters for it because it hit my team so very hard and number two when i had heliolus in against it just go for thunderbolt worst case scenario he went for sucker punch against heliolus right then and then i could have brought in caesar after heliolus went down and still had the rest of my team left because i would have forced him out with a bullet punch uh, so yeah those are my thoughts on that battle i just wanted you guys to know them Super, super disappointed by how that battle went, but hopefully I will get to battle Mac in the in the finals, um, or the playoffs rather, and we will actually get to have the match that I wanted to have the first time, and that really Mac deserves. Mac is a good player, he deserves my best play. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely in the playoffs, I'm pretty sure, for the Inigo League of Legends, but I, that battle, man, not, not my best playing right there. But, just goes to show you there's something to be learned from every battle, including when you get completely demolished by a Mega Mawile. And we're going to move on to the next battle with this in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this upload, and thank you for letting me kind of prattle on at the end here. Uh, I, I would be curious to know your thoughts on Mega Mawile, if you faced it before, if you actually battled it in singles before, got into Ubers or anything like that. Um, or if you thought that there were other plays I could have made besides just going straight for Thunderbolt with Heliolus, of course. Uh, let, me, let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to know. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.